Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for December. This is my second reading for December. I'm going to tag the other one to the end. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind this is not a private reading. That means it may not be for you. It doesn't have your name on it. It may, but you know it may not, so keep that in mind. I focus on love, so we'll see whatever comes up. What does Aquarius need to know? You guys are feeling pretty strong right now, standing in your own power determined to succeed you got a lot of determination going going on there you've got a lot of life experience behind your back and it looks like you you have a lot to be proud of okay you do you've persevered through something there's a lot of perseverance here but you still need to complete something. There's a completion that needs to happen. You, I mean, it does. This is a lesson. One more lesson. There's an, well, it's not. There's more than one, obviously. The world card is a lesson, but it's something hasn't been learned yet. And the nine of wands goes to the ten of wands, and she's got something in her hand. So there's still something you need to do to complete a cycle in your life. There's still one more hurdle, per se. Not that there's, there's going to be a lot more hurdles, but there's something prominent that needs to happen so that you can move on to the next phase of your life, okay? Till you start the next batch of hurdles. Okay. This right here, Seven of Swords, reverse getting caught. Somebody is, I don't know, if there's been some cheating going on or some lies or you may feel like you've been robbed. Somebody's going to get caught doing something. stuck in limbo you're stuck you're stuck unsure of what to do thinking about something I think you're thinking about going in another direction you're thinking about it interesting ooh yeah, there's something hidden here. There is something hidden. There's something mysterious. It's like there's something going on behind the scenes. Somebody could be cheating. I don't know. There's definitely some sort of enlightenment that's coming. Okay, enlightenment, enlightenment. Somebody is going to be enlightened about something. And it may cause you to put your guard up may cause a fight even but there's something that needs to be learned and there's something that needs to be closed because the world card is the last card something needs to end and it's been a mystery there's been something hidden there's been some sort of deception here some sort of lie there has in which you may need to you know defend yourself you may feel the need to defend yourself you could be dealing with a Aries Leo Sagittarius or this could be anybody that has lost their focus, lost their concentration. This is somebody that is very egotistical, somebody that is greedy and self-centered. You're dealing with a self-centered individual who is very controlling. And you know, they're causing some mental turmoil in your life. They're causing you to you know, put up your barriers. Somebody is causing you to feel the need to protect yourself. You are. You're up. You're. You're probably like got your guard up. Somebody has caused you to put your guard up, and you're thinking about. It looks like you're thinking about a 
leaving this situation, whatever it is, because this is a completion. You're thinking about this, and you have an opportunity for something better because this is a new opportunity. But you're definitely thinking about something fresh. You know, I'm looking for a fresh new start. I'm looking, you know, you're thinking about... something new I want something new I want something exciting now look at this I mean it's, you're you're wanting growth and I think that where you're at right now there isn't any growth I mean you could be dealing with the Pisces we have Pisces here and Pisces here we have Pisces we have Aries Leo Sagittarius as well we also have Leo right here so um, somebody has been you your your growth your new opportunity has been blocked because somebody's not taking action it's like they're not taking action but and it's fear of the unknown and you're needing to stand up for yourself you're needing to fight for yourself you're needing to protect yourself at this time there's an opportunity for extreme happiness here but you're going to have to face your fears and you're going to have to stand up for yourself so it looks like you've got to make a stand because you have a new opportunity, a really good opportunity. Like this is an opportunity for, you know, something very passionate, very <laughs> exciting to begin. That could lead to a lot of happiness. It's like a, it would really brighten up your life. So you have an opportunity to bring sunshine and happiness and light back to your life you have that opportunity but you're somebody is living in some sort of lie okay this is this is the truth here but you're gonna have to put in effort it looks like you you're gonna have to uh, work really hard to achieve your goals you know if you want this happiness you're gonna have to put in effort to face your fears to face the unknown you know, to deal with whatever it is that you're, you're hiding inside of you. The feelings that you're trying to hide. So you absolutely have a new opportunity for happiness here. Extreme happiness. You do. Where there's a room, you know, for a lot of growth. But you have to put in effort. You have to put in effort. You have to gain. The, you have to take the lead. And some you're not taking the. That's what this is. This person not. You're not taking the lead. You have to take the lead. Put yourself in that driver's seat. You take the reins. Master your emotions to bring victory and success to your life. You have to put yourself in the driver's seat. So this is a time of you thinking about getting in the driver's seat and moving, like moving on. That's what this is, moving to a new destination. Yeah, so I think that you guys are really, really thinking right now. You're thinking about, oh, goodness gracious, leaving. You're thinking about leaving a situation. And search for something where you can receive, where you can be happy, where you can celebrate. You know, you're looking for joy. You're looking for happiness. You're not looking for misery. And I think somebody has been in a situation that was incompatible. It's not compatible. There's too much arguing. It's this not happy. It's like this isn't this isn't it. Could be a third party situation going on here. You dealing? You could be dealing with a cancer as well. But either way, there's uh, there's some sort of unhappy union that is <laughs> untruthful. I mean, it's not. There's deception there. There's. It's like it's a lie. It's like it's not. There's really no partnership here. You, you know, it's not a real genuine partnership. It's like you're not working together. And you have a better opportunity waiting for you to take it. It is waiting for you to take it. 
So if you are single, if you are single, you have an opportunity for somebody new to come into your life. You can meet this person, you know, through a dating app or you could meet, meet this person when you're out and about with your friends. Or this could be a friend of a friend if you are single. Um, could meet this person through work as well. If you are in a relationship now, it doesn't look good. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not. It doesn't look good. If you're in a relationship right now, it looks as though there's there's incompatibility. There's too much, you know, there's no togetherness here. And somebody's thinking about moving on. It's like I'm thinking about taking the reins here and heading in a new direction because, you know, <laughs> There's too many secrets. There's too many lies. And I'm looking for happiness. I'm looking for excitement. I'm looking for adventure. I'm looking for that real spark. And there's an opportunity for a spark to be lit. But you got to stop clinging to the past. you got to stop clinging to whatever it is you're holding. It's just clinging to the past. Somebody's clinging to something that is incompatible. There's no partnership there. And you have to realize, this is beginning to realize you have a better opportunity. It's coming out of the darkness, seeing the light. No shit. So you guys are, you have an opportunity to bring light, to bring sunshine, to bring excitement, to bring growth, to bring this new partner into your life. If you could just stop focusing on this hurtful situation that you're in. You're in a hurtful situation that you're not getting reciprocation in. And it's like, damn, I want to move on. I want to move on, but I'm afraid to move on. But there's an opportunity for something much, much better. But you're just not taking it because you're, you're like afraid. And you're holding on. Perhaps you're holding on to where you're at because it's what you know. You're afraid to open Pandora's box. And you're afraid to grow. You don't want to grow old alone. It's like I'm going through a midlife crisis here. I'm afraid I don't want to grow old alone. I don't want to be alone. But so you have to be alone to reflect to uh, figure out where you're going in life. You can only do that alone. You can't. No. you have, This is. Time alone is needed. Sometimes you do need to retreat to figure out where your life is going. But, you know, there's this fear of if I leave this unhealthy, deceptive situation, will I grow old alone? No, that's just a fear. That's just a fear. Because you do have another opportunity. You absolutely do. But right now you're in the wrong one. Somebody is in the wrong one. They're in a. In, they're, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. This is the, somebody is in a in, in a relationship or some sort of commitment that is unharmonious. There's no balance. There's no mutual reciprocation. There's no compatibility anymore. It's like this isn't love anymore. And you do have a, when you get the lovers card, especially with the five of cups reversed, you have somebody else. There's no doubt that you have somebody else. But you have to put yourself in that driver's seat. So you're thinking about leaving. You're thinking about taking off. You're thinking about your happiness. You're thinking about your future. That's what's going on this month. You're really thinking about leaving a relationship that is no longer compatible. It's just not. It's not love anymore. It's just not. And, you know, now you're looking for togetherness. You're, you're looking for appreciation. You're looking for compromise. You're looking for somebody who's going to re, there's going to be mutual respect. And you do have an opportunity waiting for you to see it. So you got somebody else here. Now, I feel like you could be receiving a message from somebody that wants to, that is crushing on you, that wants you to give them a chance, but... You're afraid. You're really afraid to open your heart when you should be opening your heart because you have an opportunity to, you know, be loved. And you deserve love. So there is somebody here that has love to offer. But you need to love yourself enough to, to stand up for yourself. To follow your dreams. To follow your intuition. Your intuition is telling you that wherever you're at, you need to move on. Okay? That's what I see. You have to drink from that cup of love. You have to, you have to accept love. You have to allow somebody to love you. Unless you want to stay in a situation where you're not getting love. Well, that's going to...
cause resentment. So here, this is get prepared. Somebody is arriving into your life in the very near future. It's somebody that you've waited for. I think that you've been hoping and praying for somebody else to take the lead and to, you know, perhaps you've been hoping and praying for them to, maybe you've been hoping and praying for them to leave so that the, it, the, it wouldn't be in your lap, you know, that kind of thing. But it looks to me like you need to take action. You need to take action. Yeah, you do. You need to find your strength. You need to find your courage. You need to find your focus. You need to take the lead. This is a leader. This is, this is a leader. You need, you need to take the lead here. You have options. Absolutely, you have options. But you have to find your strength and your confidence to take this new opportunity in your hands. That's the Ace of Wands. In your hands. Take the opportunity in your hands and drive away. So yeah, you have an opportunity here for a very passionate new start. But it's not where you're at now. I'm sorry, it's not. Now, I was something to do with March. Something could be coming to fruition in March. But right now, you don't know, even know what you're worth anymore. You don't. Lack of self-worth, lack of self-respect, lack of self-love. Not wanting to deal with pain. Well, you have to deal with pain to get your miracle. And that's the bottom line. Right? Change hurts most of the time. Somebody's not wanting to deal with the pain. They have to find the strength. They have to find the courage to deal with the pain to receive their miracle. There's an opportunity for love here. And it's something that is so playful and exciting. Could be with the Taurus, could be with the Libra, could be with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be with any sign. But right now you're staying in a situation where there's no wish fulfillment and that door needs to be closed so that you can find wish fulfillment. So it looks to me like you guys have to make a decision to close one door and stand up for yourself because you have an opportunity for something beautiful. You could be receiving a message from somebody who's really, really crushing on you. You know, flirting, you know, they want they want you to give them a chance and you're just like so scared to, you know, make this move. Well, it's time to make this move because you this is leads to, you know, something very, very exciting, invigorating. Okay, invigorating. It, it leads to a lot of happiness and it's going to bring like light right back to your life. It's going to, the darkness that you've been going through is going to be replaced with light. But you have to put in effort to receive. You deserve, you deserve, you deserve. And it's like you don't even know what you deserve. Somebody is, is needing to make this op choice. You need to make this choice. It's time to pick. It's time to harvest. It's time to choose. It's time to plant your seeds in a new garden because there's no more growth where you're at. 
It's going to take strength and courage and confidence and willpower. Because right now somebody's in a one-sided situation and that sucks. Therefore, you're not going to get what you deserve. You deserve appreciation. You deserve respect. You deserve communication. You deserve somebody who compromises. You deserve somebody who puts in effort. Period. It's time to walk away. To bigger and better things. To wish fulfillment. Okay? It's time to walk away. Because there's your wishes, right? It's time to walk away. So it looks to me like you guys are needing to make a decision. You're in the process of making a decision. You're receiving a new offer from somebody. Somebody really wants to get to know you. They want to have a passionate new beginning with you. And you have to make that choice to fight for yourself, to defend yourself, to protect yourself, you know, to put yourself first. And that's been a real problem here. So it looks to me like you guys are thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking about your happiness and you're about to probably move on. Wherever you're at, whoever you're engaged with now, it's one-sided. This person, they're not compatible. I'm sorry. They've, they've made, you don't, it's like you don't even, they've brought you down to the point where you, you're okay with it. You don't even know what you're worth anymore. It's like, you're, you know, you can stay where you're at. You will literally die alone, even if you're with somebody. If you stay where you're at, I mean, because there's a, there's an opportunity for, to have this partnership that is exciting, that has growth, that's happy, that's going to lead to happiness. You can put an effort to that, or you can stay where you're at and, and literally be alone because you can be with the wrong person and be alone with that hermit. There's loneliness here. So if you want, you choose, okay, you choose whatever that to be lonely, that's your choice. That's your choice. You have to let go of whatever it is that you're hanging on to that's you can touch. No, it's not about what you can touch. It's about happiness. It's about passion. It's about growth. It's about light, not darkness. So anyway, you guys have an opportunity for something much, much better here. You just got to take the reins, get in your vehicle, get it, go wherever you get the hell out. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and they have been for a while now. Oh boy, is that what you're throwing away? Is you're throwing that away by staying where you're at? Past life relationships, you, ship, you've known each other before. You have somebody else. I wouldn't throw it away if I was you holding on to somebody that you're not compatible with. Whatever. It's up to you. So that's what I have for December Aquarius. I feel like you have a new exciting opportunity being presented to you that you should take. You should take the new opportunity because it could lead to extreme bliss with somebody you have known in a past life. In a past life. But you have to take that step. You do. Or live in misery. So that's what I have. Good luck.